taking that point on board about the future, you look to be reaching out to Asia and to America in terms of market development. What specifically can you tell us about the plans there? Well, we have been uh, we have been working in Asia for a while, and we have actually been able to to get uh, quite a good position in several large markets in uh, in Asia. And I, I think we can state on DVB uh, we are the market leader in India, which is a significant country over there, um, by serving the largest uh, DTH platform in in India. So so we have been able to to get kind of a position there. As we all know, these markets can be uh, challenging, so we need to keep a continuous effort. And we have we are strengthening our um, our office in India. I think we have now 30 people in India running operations and, and serving this market. Uh, so so there we are moving forward, and we see also that the development happening here in Europe it is coming to these markets, but a, a little bit later. So by working very extensively in the European market, which is our home market, we are able to develop solutions that easily can be uh, deployed also in, uh, in the Indian market. When it comes to the rest of uh, Asia, uh, we see that um, digital TV is not that well developed in all areas. And in, in but we have started now to, to pick up uh, deals or to get the uh, contracts uh, in the Southeast Asian market uh, where digitalization is more or less just a, just about to start. You have some satellite digital but that's about it and, and a lot of these countries are served mostly by terrestrial signals and being kind of a market leader when it comes to security in terrestrial we, uh, we are focusing on getting in touch with the right people there uh, to help them to make the, what we think are the right decisions to, to when they are building their trust skills. You've been recently successful in Brazil. Is the Latin American environment key for you going forward? The uh, Latin American uh, environment is very interesting and uh, of course also uh, very uh, challenging, but they have chosen to use the DVB standard for most of the TV um, for most of the TV distribution down there which make us a good uh, which gives us a good position we have had an office down there since 2003 so we have been able to sign up some very interesting deals in in this market that uh, and and we foresee that we can have a very healthy growth in that area as well going north of the border or very far north of the border of Brazil at least, and into the United States. What specific challenges um, do you face in that market? Because it's very different from, from Europe. Uh, yes, it definitely very. Uh, uh, the US is a very developed market, uh, and they, uh, the, the, the equipment provider or the technology provider in this market has been the Americans. So they have made kind of their own standards. And what we see in the US is a kind of uh, a duopoly where Motorola and formerly Scientific Atlanta now Cisco has a, 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 a very large legacy, uh, meaning that they have uh, some equipment in almost all uh, customers there. Uh, this is also then in a way uh, protected by the regulations in the US market. Uh, it make it, makes it a bit hard to get into the US market. I mean. If you look in the DVB world, it's, uh, all providers have uh, uh, the possibility to run in a single crypt solution where you have two systems running in parallel. This is not at possible at all with the standards used in the US. So, so it's, it's a few steps higher up on the ladder in order to get in there. But we have been able to sign up some interesting deal and we have now uh, signed uh, uh, an agreement with Comcast uh, and part of Comcast which is called Comcast Media Center with, which are running in, in HITS platform. So we see a positive development there as well. Uh, so we think there is some future business to be made in, in the US market. Um, as they have had a more closed market than what we have seen in the rest of the world, the price level has also been kept on a very high level so we can this is a market where we can offer 
equipment or bring in partners that can offer equipment for, for significantly, significantly lower prices than what have been seen up till now. So at least we have been able to put some pressure on them.